Hi everyone, my name is Sarah Mitchell. I am a senior guard on the Case Western Reserve University women's basketball team. And I'm getting my master's in bioethics and medical humanities this year and I'm completing my undergrad in medical anthropology. I chose Case for a number of reasons, I'm sure like everyone else that you interview here. Um, it had the perfect balance of academics and athletics. Um, I've I'm grateful that Case gives you the opportunity to kind of test out um, classes in different majors and different schools. That's something that I was really looking for in a program um, when I was applying to schools because I was a little unsure about what I wanted to do. Um, and I luckily ended up at um, a school with one of the best programs for my field of study, bioethics. Um, so I feel really grateful that I was able to kind of test out the waters and find what I was interested in. And then athletically, um, I really connected with Coach Reimer. I love and respect her coaching style. And I just felt really at home when I came and visited, which is a little cliche, but <laughs> it has to be a little Italy. I got the opportunity to live there last year, which I absolutely love. They have the best food. La Dolce Vita is my favorite. Um, Presties, I love going to Presties. Blue Sky is a great place to study. Um, Mount Granita, I think Little Italy is just a great community. Um, it gives a little sense of home on campus, which um, I love. I just love going there. My favorite professor um, has got to be Dr. Lee Hoffer, who I took some classes with and did some work with in my undergrad. So I took his Illegal Drugs in Society course, his Ethnographic Research Methods course, and then also completed my senior capstone with him. Um, he is a medical anthropologist who does work on illegal drug, um, who does research on illegal drug use. And he wrote an ethnography called Junkie Business um, based in Denver, where I'm from. So I remember reading that in one of his classes and it was like this aha moment. I realized I really love ethnographic research and I think he, he did a great job um, writing up his research and I think he's just a great person to look up to. I've been involved in kind of the revamp of the Undergraduate Society for Bioethics and Humanities here on campus. Um, so I started out involved in the club as a sophomore, um, doing a little bit of social media work on the exec board and then in my junior year I was the vice president of the organization and now in my senior year I'm um, the president of the organization. Um, I'm really proud of how the, the club has grown. Um, we have over 200 members now and are, are getting record attendance at all of our events. So I'm really proud of um, our exec team and our advisor, Dr. Aaron Lamb, for what we've been able to do. We have a minor here in bioethics for undergrads, but um, the sense of community kind of um, stays over in the, the Robbins building and the grad students. So what we try to do is kind of bring that sense of community from the department that is so wonderful to the undergrad students by allowing them to kind of get involved with the, the faculty and the master's students. I'm also involved in um, FIMU, which is a Greek life sorority on campus. Um, it's great because it kind of gives me a little bit of something fun to do um, outside of school. And I've been involved as the director of academics this past year um, and was on a cabinet position my sophomore year. My favorite memory as a case athlete has been all of our victories against Wash U. Um, we have a little bit of like a team rivalry <laughs> against Wash U and we've been really successful um, since I've been here um, in our games against them. So hoping to keep that, keep that rolling this year.